Good morning, folks. The shorter quiet cycle of our sun is up. REM cycle intermission and our star is rustling at least enough to make the earth-facing quiet effect put down a Sunday paper and come stand at the gate. This is an absolute monster of a sunspot umbra leading the moderately sized group overall. Let's just get to it. Over at spaceweathernews.com, we find the last day of our star somewhat snap happy, especially at the incoming limb. The filament comprising the southern polar crown had a little release yesterday, but nothing major. All significant ejecta would have come from here. Our new sunspot group has a mastery of large-scale umbral magnetic fields and has been showing signs of eruptive potential. The confined structure means the fields will interact more with better chances of producing X-ray solar flares. And over the last day, we've seen the B-range flaring finally give way to some slightly higher C-class events. It's pretty much all coming down to the big sunspot and what it is able to produce. The largest umbra certainly steals one's attention, but it's the southern bit and those trailing behind that would need to trigger the big guy to let loose. Beta magnetism has my eyes firmly set on our star today. Stay tuned to spaceweathernews.com and our Twitter feed for updates. Solar wind here, not much doing, calming streams, and Earth's magnetic systems are doing all right today. Let's come to an ice update. Been a long time because we said El Nino was only going to do one thing there, and it did. Record low Arctic ice maximum this year, but since the shift away from El Nino began, it's been trying to make its last break upward. Down south, same prevails. El Nino broke three years of record high Antarctic ice, and it's now free to head above average once more. Top story is also about water, and it relates to our interview with Gerald Pollack. Turns out that water is 10,000 times more responsive to electromagnetism than believed, and a single ion can affect a million water molecules. They will all attempt to align with the ion and the magnetic fields created. You can try this at home with a plastic spoon and a millimeter stream of water from a faucet. Just rub the spoon on your head and build up a static charge, then watch as you bend the stream of water when you get the spoon about an inch away. Technically, this makes three water stories in a row, cold blast and another winter storm in serious need of a calendar. Do you know what day it is? You know it snowed in the Caribbean last week, right? I also have severe weather returning to the United States south tonight and surging more tomorrow as these lows coming through drive hot and cold air collisions that also equalize moisture, pressure, and electric potential. Severe alerts, two nights in a row is another earth spot heading in from the Pacific as well. Folks, yesterday's fly on the wall was a lot of fun. We discussed the new level of extreme weather events to which the Earth is privy, show how lucky humans have been for a few hundred years, and run down the lack of preparedness globally for a solar storm. Also talk about the pole shift and related items. We've got the rest of the globe's pressure and radar forecast followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.15 a.m. in the desert. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone. 